Hi guys! This is your mid-month reading for the November 15th through the 30th. As you see, I already have a Romance Angels card out that I shuffled and pulled off camera for you guys to take a look at after the reading. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on with you guys for the remainder of the month. <clears throat> My Capricorns. What's going on with Capricorn for the remainder of the month from November 15th through the 30th? Capricorn. The sun. Hmm. There's something that you feel like um, you're, you're confident in yourselves about. Okay. This is Leo energy. This is all about exuding confidence, being happy, um, being enlightened here. Hmm. Could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with, or this is just your aura right now towards going into the, the month of December. You know, just feeling uh, confident in your skills and yourselves. <clears throat> What's crossing my Capricorns? The world. I think you guys feel confident in what you've gone through and the lessons that you have taken from it. Okay? Um... But I do think that there's something that you're missing because this is what's challenging you. Here is the world. And this is to wrap some shit up. Okay? You do have a knowledge of, of you know, like not doing the same things over again. You have that knowledge, but what are you actually doing with that knowledge? And that's just an example because in the less in the world, there are all sorts of lessons. Um, all of the cups are in the world. And so you have gone through uh, falling in love, um, separating, trying to get back together, feeling regretful. You know, all of that is in the world. So the world basically is ruled by Saturn and it's karma. Okay? So it's like do you, or do you repeat certain things over again or do you take what you've already been through and learn from that and do something different for yourselves here, okay? And start over doing something different. Or do you do the same thing over again? I mean, it's up to you guys, I feel, here. The Saturn energy does include Leo. It also includes um, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy. Let's see what the underlying issue here is for you guys. What is the underlying issue here for Capricorn? Judgment. What are you going to do? <laughs> Making that decision. You know, I think getting back together is definitely on the table for some of you. Um, but also leaving something behind is here. Again, Scorpio energy. So you have Leo Scorpio here right now. But it's like, do you give this another chance or do you decide that this is not for you and you move on? The thing about judgment is, and I think you feel it and you know it, that once you make this decision, is is going to be for the long term. Doesn't mean that it's going to be forever, but it is going to be a while once you make a decision one way or the other. Okay, guys? <clears throat> Let's see. The recent past for Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. I think a lot of you guys were in long-term relationships where either you were married, um, but I feel like you were like the guy in the relationship, meaning that you took the initiative. You led the way. You did a lot of the things that held the relationship together. Okay? But I feel now... Um, there's something that you've realized about your situation that, that you feel is going to make you better. It's going to make you happier. But what do you do with that information is the thing. Okay. I do feel like this is you, this queen of pentacles. Maybe you were taking care of somebody or you were, you know, the one that was more financially, um, sound and stable. If not, you were the one that was more just stable, you know. Um, this person could always depend on you, but could you depend on them is the thing. And then here we come with death. You knew something had to change. 
there was something that needed to change here and I feel like that's you but I think what needs to happen now is for you guys to take into account if the other person has changed because I think you've, you, you're kind of standing your ground right now and not um, just taking over and being everything that they need and want like are they being what you need and what you want Scorpio is strong here now they're like taking over the reading <laughs> let's see what your crowning thoughts are the lovers you love this person you love this person so there is a very hard decision uh, for you guys here because the underlying issue here is for you to make a decision but um, I get that this is something that you can't just make like that because you have an intense love um, connection with this person for some of you this is a marriage that's in concern and that is of concern rather and that um, you know you just don't want to just throw it away you want to see if this can be salvaged if you can work on this, if you know things can get better, Gemini energy there. What's coming in for Capricorn? The Hermit. Hmm. Some of you guys are deciding to let go of this connection relationship. Um, I don't know if you really can let go of the connection honestly because it's it's unseen it's not something that you can just you know put your finger on and and calculate and you know but the relationship part of it I feel you guys like kind of pulling away and doing your own things and trying to figure things out for yourself okay um, this is you know nine on this card and you know nines are single they are they are uh, all about themselves not in a egotistical way but it's like trying to figure out what's best for you outside of anyone else outside of a relationship Virgo energy here trying to figure out you know what are your next steps what is the path that you feel like is best for you what should you be doing and um, but it's hard when you are intensely in love with somebody here and I see that for you guys I definitely see that um, I do feel like there is someone here uh, Scorpio energy that is Scorpio Leo maybe Aries as well I'm getting um, for some of you and of course Gemini's here uh, and Virgo's here but and also Taurus and um, Aquarius but the the bottom line here is that something was not working for you guys and you know you you see this you see everything that was going on everything that should not have been going on and um, you really feel like it's best for you to move on by yourself even though you have this strong this deep love for this person still um, but I think you're looking out for yourself first and foremost. What's best for you? Logically. Okay. How is Capricorn looking at this situation? How do they see themselves here? Prince of Chalices. I think that you know you kind of want to start over you're at this point where you're ready to love again um, but I don't see you want to jump into things too fast you want to just kind of take it slow and and just smell the roses okay taking the time to like really enjoy the small things in life is what I'm seeing here cancer Scorpio Pisces energy what is the influence here for Capricorn Justice. Justice. Yes. Want to do what's right for you and for the other person involved because I'm getting it. Some of you feel like, you know, at this point, you know, is it even good for you guys to be together? Would you be doing them an injustice as well as yourself? And so you're really trying to figure out, like, what is the best thing to do here? 
you want to do the right thing because you want good karma, you know, coming back around to you because it depends on what you do that will bring you either the same bull crap back around or something better. Okay? Libra energy there. Hopes and fears for Capricorn. The chariot. You're hoping that you can move on successfully by yourself. Start over. Plant new seeds. Invest in something different. Something that's going to be very beneficial. Something that you can grow into long term. Build a legacy for yourself even financially. Just do the damn thing. But you really want to be successful in whatever endeavor. Especially relationship matters. Because um, this is the card of cancer. And, and cancer is like the, the house of like relationships and one-on-one -on -one relationships even. Okay, what is the outcome here for Cancer? Princess of as Princess of Wands. Why I couldn't get that out, I don't know. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, you know, just for the remainder of the month, going into December, you're really taking a a really hard look at you know whether or not this situation is worth salvaging or do you need to move on from this um i think you're waiting to hear uh not hear something from someone necessarily but i think a lot of you guys are are praying and and you're looking for some sort of sign of what it is that you should do is what i'm gathering here okay so let's move on and see what your romance angels card has to say it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I think this is for those of you that are choosing to go your own way. To be separate. To no longer be in a past connection. Open your heart up. And, and know that even if you decide that you don't want to be with this person anymore, that that does not mean that that's the end for you as far as love is concerned. Okay, guys? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, guys. All right, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.